Well, hello there, I'm Detroit. But that's not all, I'm not just Detroit. I'm also a huge fan of Joffy. That should be obvious from the intro that I ripped from them. In fact, I'm such a fan that I straight up copied the colored band at the bottom of the screen with my drawn avatar in the corner. I think I might even have drawn my avatar originally so that I would have it whenever I get good enough to go on the Joffy show and draw with them all live. I'm not sure it's gonna happen anytime though, which is why I'm doing the next best thing. I'm drawing fan art of a Drawfee character. This is York, Jacob's persona for Drawtectives. If you don't know, Drawtectives season 2 just started like a week ago. I watched the premiere of the first episode and I hear Jacob and Karina, mostly them two but all of them really, go on and on about how they love seeing fan art. That and a good prompt is all I need. The first episode of Drawtectives reintroduces the main characters after the time skip between the first season and this one. As such, York, Jima and Rose get a makeover, and Jacob, Nathan and Karina design their new styles as well as tell us what the characters have been up to during the time skip. Spoilers, but turns out York is now a fashion model. How unexpected. But what a good idea to have this male barbarian become a fashion model. So now I'm wondering what it would look like to see York in a formal costume attending a fashion show from the side. Only one key point to the design of this drawing. York can't wear sleeves because of his big arms. Sleeves. Who needs them? We all got them. My idea for the composition of the drawing is to have York in the center, sitting in a fancy theater chair or something you could see at a fashion show. Obviously there will be a crowd and a lot of people to draw, but I think I can get away with it with the lighting and photographer flashes. York will be sitting and looking a bit bored or empty-headed is more the right idea. I imagine he's thinking of going out with his friends and how he would prefer that to just be sitting there at the moment. To give a bit more movement to the drawing, and because York is a beast and I didn't want to draw feet but I had to fit a whole lot of them in the drawing, I decided to add a lot of foreshortening. A lot more than I originally wanted to be honest. Foreshortening isn't my forte and while I can sometimes make it work with arms and legs maybe, the torso ended up looking very flat behind all that. This is why I completely erased the problem of the waist and the butt area and how it could be consistent with the rest of York's body by hiding it behind the knees. But then I find myself erasing and drawing the legs over and over and over again. I told you, foreshortening, not my forte. My best friend for this complicated pose drawing was the horizontal mirroring option in Photoshop, for sure. When you flip horizontally a drawing, all the mistakes pop out at once. This is because your brain is used to seeing patterns and familiar shapes, so whenever you flip the picture, it sees that you are drawing a character before it can register that it is the same character as before the flip. So from that, your brain tells you all the inconsistencies, like, oh, this eye is bigger than the other, or this leg is at the wrong angle. All the things you don't see when you spend a lot of time in on a drawing. The parts where Karina would say, I'll fix it in post, but I'm showing you the whole process, so I can't do that. After sketching the whole thing, it felt almost liberating to ink. Inking, you can stop thinking too much and just draw the dumb lines where you've already decided they'll go. No more calculations and planning and actually using anatomy correctly. You can relax a bit more. You still have to weight your lines correctly though. The flow of the lines in your line art, the way the line extremity fades in, etc, etc, this will be what gives your inking character. That and the brush of course, because usually the brush is doing that. I'm just choosing the direction of my line. Oh, and also I gave York glasses for some reason. But I drew them on a separate layer because I'm not sure of that choice. If I want to remove it, it will be easier. So now it's time for the part that scares me the most. Also the part I need to get better at, maybe more than the others. The rendering, or coloring, whatever you want to call it. I'm not gonna render much technically because I want to keep the same sort of coloring that is used in Drawfee renders, so I'll start by laying flats. Just picking colors and putting them behind the line art. I free-handedly picked the colors I wanted and I think they turned okay, so that's already nice. For the background, I ended up completely putting the inking away. I added a dark gray and a red gradient behind York because red felt nice with this green skin and then I made a few layers of silhouettes and heads in a grayer and grayer red. Using the lasso tool and the circle select, that's much easier than freehanding it. 
I also erased the ink around the flashes where photographers are taking pics for the fashion show. The lines made it too distracting from the main character in the center. I'm then moving on to shading using my favorite technique. I'm using a multiply layer with a dark tone on it and applying it to the entirety of York. Then with the eraser I'm taking away where the light source might hit him. Because the light source will be in front of him for a show, it's relatively easy to construct the shape of the shading. Just to make it more interesting, I add a few lighter lines on the silhouettes beside him so that he's not sitting alone in front of a cardboard cutout of a crowd. Finally, the finishing touch is a bit of rim lighting. A cyan that I add to the flash of the cameras and then on the back of York, on the side opposite the main light source. On the same side as the shadows, if you will. For the people next to him, I lower the opacity so that it isn't too eye-catching. That's about it. This is my fan art of York from Drophy's Detective Season 2, The Celestial Spear. I'll be looking forward to this new season and frankly, if you have no idea what I'm talking about but you stayed this long, I encourage you to check it out on Drophy's YouTube channel. I'll leave a link in the description somewhere next to my social media. If you enjoyed this drawing process, do like the video, leave a comment and subscribe. Feel free to tell me what you want me to draw next as well. I'm Detroit and I'll see you in the next video. I'm sorry. Bye!